Me again. Tasting more gluten-free stuff. I got these at Nicastro's in the market in Ottawa. Uh, they are pizza flavored crackers. And uh, that's, ooh, they smell yummy. They smell like a tomato. So, oh, this one's broken. So actually you can see inside it's, let's hide my face here, it's actually quite hollow, but you can see some, I'm guessing it's oregano flavor. Little on the dry side, almost more like, um, like a breadstick. The tomato flavor is nice. I don't mind the tomato flavor at all. They are really nice and tiny. Again, might be something good with like, um, I say this for a lot of crackers, but with the cheese spread. So not a hundred percent on the texture for these. Um, 150 calories for 13 crackers or 30 grams. Usually when I weigh, it's not quite 13. Um, Where's the ingredients? It's probably not even English for me to see. Oh, there it is. Gluten-free crackers with pizza flavoring. Ingredients, cornstarch, potato starch, vegetable, sunflower oil, rice starch, corn flour, eggs, pea protein, which be careful because a lot of people with a gluten intolerance are also sensitive to pea proteins. So you should watch for that also in protein powders if you take protein powders. Uh, double tomato concentrate, thickener, which is carob flour, emulsifier, soy lecithin, sugar, yeast, salt, whole milk powder, rising agents, which are sodium carbonates, potassium tartrates, flavorings, oregano. Barn eggs, palm oil free. So that's quite the ingredient list on these ones. Not my favorite, I will eat them because they're okay, but they're not gonna be the ones that I are my go-to. Uh, I don't, I believe they had other flavors. I know they had like a plain flavor for sure. I'm not 100% on if they had something other than the, the plain and the tomato though. But um, worth a try. They can be a little pricey. Like I got the Magna Cash Joe's in Ottawa. They were $5.99 for the bag, um, which is actually not bad for a bag this size of gluten-free crackers. Um, I mean, if you're putting out like a party spread and you have things to put on the crackers, then it might be a good option. Otherwise, I think there's a lot of other better crackers out there. Right now, like I'm really loving the, uh, the Simple Mills cracker line. Um, they seem to be the, the best ones that I'm enjoying the most right now. So uh, if you have them, give these a try. Let me know what you think. And if there's other products out there that you would like for me to try and uh, give my opinion on, then just uh, leave me a comment and I will see if I can find it. See you in the next one, I guess. I never know how to end these things.